Mount Sinai Hospital, Wikipedia article audio. Mount Sinai Hospital, founded in 1852, is one of the oldest and largest teaching hospitals in the United States. In 2011-2012, Mount Sinai Hospital was ranked as one of America's best hospitals by U.S. News & World Report in 12 specialties. Mount Sinai Hospital was ranked number 16 on the U.S. News & World Report 2014-15 Best Hospitals Rankings Honor Roll. It was ranked number 15 on U.S. News & World Report 2016-2017 Best Hospitals Rankings Honor Roll. History Noteworthy Individuals Noted Benefactors Noted staff Located on the eastern border of Central Park stretching along 5th Avenue between 98th and 103rd Street in the New York City borough of Manhattan, Mount Sinai also has a number of hospital affiliates in the New York metropolitan area including Brooklyn Hospital Center, and an additional campus, Mount Sinai Hospital of Queens. The hospital is also affiliated with the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, which opened in September 1968. In 2013, Mount Sinai Hospital joined with Continuum Health Partners in the creation of the Mount Sinai Health System. The system encompasses the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai and seven hospital campuses in the New York metropolitan area as well as a large, regional ambulatory footprint. As U.S. cities grew more crowded in the mid-19th century, philanthropist Sampson Simpson founded a hospital to address the needs of New York's rapidly growing Jewish immigrant community. It was the second Jewish hospital in the United States. At the time of its founding in 1852, other hospitals in New York City discriminated against Jews by not hiring them and preventing them from being treated in their wards. The Jews Hospital in the city of New York, as it was then called, was built on 28th Street in Manhattan, between 7th and 8th Avenues, on land donated by Simpson, it opened two years before Simpson's death. Four years later, it was unexpectedly filled to capacity with soldiers from the Civil War. The Jews' hospital felt the effects of the escalating Civil War in other ways, as staff doctors and board members were called into service. Dr. Israel Moses served four years as lieutenant colonel in the 72nd, Joseph Seligman had to resign as a member of the board of directors as he was increasingly called upon by President Lincoln for advice on the country's growing financial crisis. The draft riots of 1863 again strained the resources of the new hospital, as draft inequities and a shortage of qualified men increased racial tensions in New York City. As the Jews' hospital struggled to tend to the many wounded, outside its walls over 100 men, and children were killed in the riots. More and more, the Jews' hospital was finding itself an integral part of the general community. In 1866, to reflect this newfound role, it changed its name. In 1872, the hospital moved uptown to the east side of Lexington Avenue, between 66th and 67th Streets. Now called Mount Sinai Hospital, the institution forged relationships with many physicians who made contributions to medicine, including Henry N. Heinemann, Frederick S. Mandelbaum, Bernard Sachs, Charles A. Ellsberg, Emanuel Libman, and, most significantly, Abraham Jacoby, known as the father of American pediatrics and a champion of construction at the hospital's new site on Manhattan's Upper East Side in 1904. 
The hospital established a school of nursing in 1881. Created by Alma de Leon Hendricks and a small group of women, Mount Sinai Hospital Training School for Nurses was taken over by the hospital in 1895. In 1923, the name was changed to Mount Sinai Hospital School of Nursing. This school closed in 1971 after graduating 4,700 nurses all women except one man in the last class. An active alumni association continues. The early 20th century had the population of New York City explode. That, coupled with many new discoveries at Mount Sinai, meant that Mount Sinai's pool of doctors and experts was in increasing demand. A $1.35 million expansion of the 1904 hospital site raced to keep pace with demand. The opening of the new buildings was delayed by the advent of World War I. Mount Sinai responded to a request from the United States Army Medical Corps with the creation of Base Hospital No. 3. This unit went to France in early 1918 and treated 9,127 patients with 172 deaths, 54 surgical and 118 medical, the latter due mainly to influenza and pneumonia. Two decades later, with tensions in Europe escalating, a committee dedicated to finding placements for doctors fleeing Nazi Germany was founded in 1933. With the help of the National Committee for the Resettlement of Foreign Physicians, Mount Sinai Hospital became a new home for a large number of émigrés. When World War II broke out, Mount Sinai was the first hospital to throw open its doors to Red Cross nurses aides. The hospital trained many in its effort to reduce the nursing shortage in the states. Meanwhile, the president of the medical board, George Baer, M.D., was called by President Roosevelt to serve as the nation's chief medical director of the Office of Civilian Defense. These wartime roles were eclipsed, however when the men and women of Mount Sinai's 3rd General Hospital set sail for Casablanca, eventually setting up a 1,000-bed hospital in war-torn Tunisia. Before moving to tend to the needs of soldiers in Italy and France, the 3rd General Hospital had treated more than 5,000 wounded soldiers. In the decades following World War II, Mount Sinai has continued its efforts to expand its usefulness to medicine and its communities. In 1963, the hospital created a medical school, and in 1968 welcomed the first students of Mount Sinai School of Medicine, now the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. The 1980s had a $500 million hospital expansion, including the construction of the Guggenheim Pavilion, the first medical facility designed by I.M. Pei, the faculty has made significant contributions to gene therapy, cardiology, immunotherapy, organ transplants, cancer treatments, and minimally invasive surgery. Writing for the Boston Globe on October 14, 2007, Scott Allen reported the issue of patient abuse and problems with human resources management at Mount Sinai by Dr. Jack M. Gorman who was department chairman of psychiatry at Mount Sinai. Allen stated that, officials at McLean learned that Gorman had, like so many patients at the renowned psychiatric hospital, attempted suicide. But their initial sympathy for a sick man turned to horror when they learned, from a legal document delivered in mid-May, why he had taken such a desperate measure. The married father of two had brought a shameful secret with him to Massachusetts, he had engaged in a long-term sexual relationship with a New York patient. Gorman, 55, inspired great hope when McLean and partners announced that they had lured him away from New York City's Mount Sinai School of Medicine in October 2005. 
It was Gorman's decision to contact the New York Board of Professional Medical Conduct that finally brought the episode to public attention. Earlier this month, the board finally acted on what Gorman told them, posting on its website that his medical license had been indefinitely suspended for inappropriate sexual contact with a patient. The issue of human resources management between nurses and doctors at Mount Sinai Hospital was reported by Jose Martinez on April 20, 2010 in the New York Daily News. As stated by Martinez, a Catholic nurse was forced to assist in an abortion at Mount Sinai Medical Center over her strenuous objections, a lawsuit filed Friday charges. Katharina Senzan de Carlo who works in the operating room at the Manhattan Hospital, contends that her boss ordered her to assist in the May 2009 abortion of a 22-week-old fetus or face charges of insubordination and patient abandonment. In January 2013 David L. Reich was the first openly gay medical doctor named interim president of Mount Sinai Hospital as reported by the New York Times. In October of the same year he was named president. On November 24, 2002, the New York Times reported the commitment ceremony of Reich to Keith Lauren Marin stating that, Keith Lauren Marin Jr. and Dr. David Lewis Reich are to celebrate their partnership today with a commitment ceremony at the Bloom Ballroom in Manhattan. Judge Paul G. Feynman of New York City Civil Court in Manhattan will officiate. James McKinley writing for the New York Times reported abuse issue investigations dealing with human resources management at Mount Sinai Hospital on March 24, 2016 when a doctor was brought to court for abuse of several patients. As stated by McKinley, a former doctor at Mount Sinai Hospital in Manhattan was arraigned on Thursday on charges of sexually abusing four women who came into the emergency room there, touching their breasts for no medical reason and, in one case, drugging, groping and masturbating on a patient. The physician, Dr. David H. Newman, pleaded not guilty before Justice Michael J. Obis in State Supreme Court in Manhattan to one count of first-degree sexual abuse and four counts of third-degree sexual abuse. He remains free on bail. Four young women who came to the hospital for medical treatment were sexually abused by the very doctor entrusted with their care, the Manhattan District Attorney, Cyrus R. Vance Jr., said in a statement. In August 2016 Dennis S. Charney, the dean of the medical school, was shot and wounded as he left a deli in his hometown of Chappaqua, New York. Heng Jun Chow, a former Mount Sinai faculty member who had been fired for research misconduct in 2010, was arrested and charged with attempted murder. Chow was convicted of attempted second-degree murder and two other charges in June 2017. Notes Further reading The Sinai Nurse, A History of Nursing at the Mount Sinai Hospital, 1852-2000 by Marjorie Gulla Lewis and Sylvia M. Barker, The Social Work-Medicine Relationship 100 Years at Mount Sinai by Helen Rayer